the committee wanted to make sure that there's increased research on sexual transmission and also how long the risk is for sexual transmission of the Zika virus. There are knowledge gaps that remain in the full scope of the disease. In other words, it's natural history. What does infection do? What are the, all the side effects and all the effects that occur from infection in a fetus and also infection in adults? Working with the scientific community, we've learned that Zika has consequences in infants beyond microcephaly to a range of complications, from hearing and eyesight complications to seizures, and we now have called this the Zika congenital syndrome. And while we're still entering now the phase of the Paralympics, which start, as you may know, on September the 7th, uh, we are optimistic that the same risk assessment will hold. And there's been enormous amount of epidemiological work, of lab work, of public health work, including vector control, a detailed follow-up, including retrospective analysis of, of cases in Singapore. I think we can also say that the government of Brazil has followed a very similar model and very successfully uh, giving us quick and comprehensive reporting.